Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to now look at drawing histograms. So here we've got an important formula whenever you're drawing histograms. It's frequency density is frequency divided by class width. Remember, the reason that we're drawing histograms is that the, the, the data we're going to be looking at will have unequal class widths. So that means we've got to work at the frequency density. That's so that you can compare the frequencies for categories that have got different class sizes, class widths. So let's have a look at the table we're going to be looking at. So we're going to be looking at this table, and we have got hours per week, number of people. So, uh, sometimes I wouldn't have this on there, so this is where you would have something like this. Uh, hours per week, a number of people. And as you can see here, they've got unequal class width. Some of them, the ones at the top, I've got a class width of 5, 5, 10, 15, and 25. So as you can see, the class width vary quite a lot in this in this uh, table. So let's then work out our frequency densities. Remember, frequency densities is frequency divided by class width. So we're going to divide the frequency by the class width. So the frequency of this category is 40. The class width is 5. So we're going to do 40 divided by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. Next one. The frequency is 35. The class width is 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. The next one. 60 is the frequency. The class width is 10. 60 divided by 10 is 6. Uh, the next one. We've got 24 is the frequency. Class width is 15. So you get your calculator and you're going to do 24 divided by 15 to get 1.6. So the frequency density for this one is 1.6. And finally, the frequency is 55, the class width is 25, so you're going to do 55 divided by 25, and you get 2.2. So the frequency density for the last category or last interval is 2.2. Now we've got our frequency densities, we can draw a histogram. So, three set of axes, this should look something like this. Uh, ignore these bits at the bottom, please. So you've got your frequency density going up the vertical axis um, from 0 to 10. Remember, the highest one we had was 8, so it just needs to go up to make sure that you're covering the, the highest frequency density. And along the x-axis, so the horizontal axis, you've got the hours. The lowest number of hours is 0. The highest number of hours is 60, so you need to go from 0 to 60. So 0 to 60, they've gone 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Uh, ignore these things here. You never put the inequality signs, see like these categories, you never put the inequality signs on the x-axis. So, let's now draw a histogram. Draw a histogram, you need to have your frequency densities available. So let's have a look at the first one. The first one has, from 0 to 5, has a frequency density of 8. So 0 to 5, well 0 to 5 would be here on the x-axis, and it needs to go up to 8, up to here. So you get your ruler, and you draw your bar. So your bar will go from 0 to 5, up to 8, and across using your ruler, and then you shade it in. The next bar, 5 to 10, goes up to 7, so 5 to 10 goes up to 7, so there's 7, 5 to 10, and it goes up to 7, so 0 to 5, 5 to 10. Next one, 10 to 20 has a frequency density of 6, so frequency density of 6, there's 10 to 20. Next one, 20 to 25 has a frequency density of 1.6. So 20, sorry, 20 to 35 has a frequency density of 1.6. So 20 to 35, so here to here, has a frequency density of 1.6. So 1.6 is round right about there. So you're going to go across and there. And finally, uh, the last one is from 35 to 60, and it's a frequency density of 2.2. So 2.2, round right about there. Draw your bar nice and straight. Make sure you're paying lots of attention to your presentation here. It's a bit harder whenever you're making the video at the same time. And you go across to 60, and you go down. Oh, and you go down using your ruler, and there you've drawn your histogram. As you can see, your histogram has got your frequency density up the vertical axis, and it has got each of the bars for each of the frequency densities that you worked out.